Comes up with the grab and he gains eight. He's got eyes on the right side and then he's going to work all the way back and get his eyes onto the left side. This is what makes him so good, right? He can work from the pocket. Here's Lloyd, bounces it outside, gets to the sideline at the 40. First down and 10 at the 39. Williams handing it off. Lloyd again keeps his feet, breaks it back. First down, still fighting. Look at those quick feet. First and 10 at the 43. And they'll hand it off. Lloyd again looking. Lloyd taken down from behind. Here's Williams, and he's sacked. Whoa, great pressure, Omaria Cooper. And Williams will hand it off. Not a lot of room. Colorado. And Jimmy Horn Jr., who scored the touchdown on Colorado's last possession at his own 10. Over his head and into the end zone for a touchback. 21 to 7. That one intended for Jimmy Horn, just couldn't hold on. Eight times he was sacked last week, Shadour Sanders. They run it with Edwards, who breaks it back, still on his feet, and finally goes down as he gets tripped up. Sanders delivers, guns it near side, incomplete, no flags on the play. Gets it away. Blocked! And recovered! At the Colorado 22. Wow. And the rush just comes right up into his face. They're not even trying to rush and block this punt, but they get the block because Vassett took so long. First down and 10 of the 23. They'll hand it off. Marshawn Lloyd, he'll go backwards. Nicely done. Jordan Dominic. Williams steps into his throw, touchdown, Mario Williams. Watch the middle of the field right here, and they're going to exploit that, and all he's got to do is get over the linebacker. Once he does, there's no one there. The safety split way outside of the hash. That's a mistake that close to the goal line. Got to understand where the seam routes can come from, and Mario Williams with an easy touchdown. Lynch in for the extra point, and the snap is bobbled. Colorado right there. So 27 to 7.
defense, but even more than that, I think their offense is even better than it was a year ago. They're more balanced. Gus, as this one goes out of the end zone for a touchback. Colorado running the football. They'll be tackled for a loss on this play. Dylan Edwards goes down. A former quarterback that becomes a defensive lineman. That one thrown out to Jimmy Horn. Some hard hitting going on. On third down and one. And the first down for the Buffaloes. Uh, Sanders, play action. Dumps it down, incomplete. And here's the run. SC ready for it. What a play. That's number 79, Dijon Benton. Sanders looking. Sanders in trouble, spinning, delivers, and just throws it out of bounds. So Vassett will punt it again from the 20. Michael Jackson is the deep man at his 20. Vassett gets it away this time. Jackson from the 25 and dives forward, gets up to the 27, a 41-yard punt. Here's Williams. Delivers and that one caught by Rice and the first down. Caleb Williams, prior to that throw, 11 of 14, 187, three touchdown passes, no picks. And Cormani McLean on the field for Colorado, the highly, highly touted five star corner up there, top of your screen. Here's a lob pass and it's caught by Lake McCree, and McCree will get to midfield just like that, under five to go. First down at midfield. Here's a sidearm throw to the Michael Jackson, junior from Austin, Texas, Lake Travis High School. Marshawn Lloyd goes in motion, sets up on the other side. And he'll give it to him, trying to get outside, turns the corner. And he's close to a first down. First down at midfield. They'll run between the tackles this time with Lloyd. Second down and seven. Sideline throw caught again. Boy, he can get that thing off his hands quickly. Michael Jackson the catch. First down at the 37. And some misdirection. Washington. First down. Flag on the play, though. Illegal substitution. Defense. 12 players on the field. Got the only decline. The result of the play. First down. You know, it's so difficult to try to substitute on defense if the offense also doesn't substitute. I think that's what Dion is saying into the headset right there. He's annoyed because that's a coaching mistake. Williams, quick throw, caught. Rice down the sideline, dives. Touchdown, SC. 26 yards. For Brendan Rice. Here's going to come this a little RPO. So you got the back, and then out of the backfield, Williams can just throw it off his back foot, sidearm out to Brendan Rice, who is a specimen. 6'3, 210. He makes Trevor Woods miss and then races for the pylon, clearly gets in, and the former buff, buff, comes back to Folsom Field and gets into the end zone. They say he's got his mother's size and talent. <laughs> Jerry Rice's son. Lynch, extra point coming up. And it's good. Man, I just love watching this offense. Yeah, and you can tell, came into this game with five touchdowns. Now Dylan Edwards crosses the 15 up to the 17-yard line. First down and 10 at the 17 for Shadur Sanders, trying to get something going at the end of this first half. Jimmy Horn, nice move after the catch. He's knocked out of bounds. First and 10 at the 27. Sideline throw. Xavier Weaver. Sanders steps up in the pocket, in trouble, wants to run it. Breaks the line of scrimmage and picks up a first down as he slides at the 40. Sanders. Here's a screen. Hankerson with blockers in front of him and he'll pick up another first down. Straight ahead run. Hankerson. Sanders. Looking. 
Sanders squares his shoulders, now runs it. And it'll go down hard. Number 10 here, bottom of your screen from the rush. This is where they're getting pressure. Third down and two, they'll pitch it. Edwards looking for the first down, and he has it, and a little more. 42 seconds to go. Sanders. Sanders. Steps up in the pocket, runs it, gets the first down, and more. Sanders sprinting to the end zone. Touchdown, Colorado. Shadur Sanders using his legs. No quit in these mountain men as USC was out of alignment. Alejandro Mata in to attempt the extra point, and it's good. 34-14, 10th career rushing touchdown for Shadur. Well, what you're going to get here is what I would call full flow. So you've got a back going out to the right, and you've also got motion. What that does is it gets everybody moving over to the right. You see in this man coverage. Now, I think they're trying to throw to the tight end right here, but it gets gobbled up by the safety, and as soon as that happens, Shador Sanders takes off because there's nobody left in the middle of the field. So it's a good read from Sanders, and in particular knowing right away it's either tight end or me, and he takes off for a touchdown. And Dion. Hugging his son. Lemon from the goal line. Lemon with a lane. Crosses the 25. 15 seconds remaining. Caleb Williams over the middle. And it's caught by Lloyd. He picks up the first down. Clock will stop briefly. And that's a huge first half for USC. Caleb Williams, 17 of 20, 260 yards, four touchdown passes. to start the second half. Dylan Edwards is the deep man. And Edwards allows this one to go over his head for a touchback. And Sanders keeps it with running room and slides down. Seven carries, 64 yards for Sanders in this game. First down at the 35. 
Here's Sanders to throw it. Screen deflected. Incomplete. Second and ten at the 35. They'll run it. And this time it's Alton McCaskill. Buffalo's need a first down here. Sanders in trouble. Sanders hit and sack. Michael Jackson, the deep man, at the 26. Fielded on the run at the 25. Jackson breaking tackles and finally gets to the 30 before being brought down. Here's Williams on first down. Hands it off. Lloyd. See how far Lloyd is away from Caleb Williams? You know, that, that screams run play. Second down and 10. Sidearm throw. Near side. Caught. Singer. He'll get it upfield. Illegal block in the back. Number 79. Offense. 10-yard building. First step. Second down. Marshawn Lloyd, the running back, splits out wide. Top of your screen. Williams dancing around. Crosses the line of scrimmage and goes out of bounds. Williams steps up, backs up, side throw, caught. Singer, but not enough for the first down. He's tracked down from behind by Omarion Cooper. Jimmy Horn is a deep man, Chaplitsky. And it's fair caught at the 20. Sanders sidesteps. Flag on the play. Sanders buys time. Sideline throw incomplete. Holding offense number 69. That's a TR penalty. First down and 20 at the 10. Play fake. Edwards. Excuse me. Sanders. Quick strike to Harrison. Second down at 15. Sanders again. This time his receiver had not broken out of his break. Shadour Sanders steps up in the pocket and sacked again. Romello Height. Height had a sack last week against Arizona State. Vassett punting out of the back of his own end zone. Jackson wants a shot at it, and he will be stopped. First down and 10 of the 45. Williams, another sidearm throw as he slings it to Washington, second and one at the 25. Williams over the middle, and it's caught. Mike Jackson, Josh Dino, Allen. Colorado, it's the first of the half. First down and 10 at the 44. For Southern California, Williams over the middle, caught. Michael Jackson pushing the pile forward close to the first down. False start. Offense, number 57. Five-yard penalty, second down. Second and six at the 40. Williams with time delivers. Caught at the 12-yard line, Mario Williams. Beautiful job by Williams there to come back. This time they run it with Lloyd. Marshawn Lloyd. Second and four at the six. Quick strike in the end zone, incomplete. Knocked down, well done. Caleb Williams over the middle, touchdown. Guess who? Brendan Rice again. Seventh receiving touchdown of the season. Here we go with a little slant. Nice job from Rice setting up this route and just beats Omari and Cooper to the spot. Cooper not even in the vicinity of that ball. The Colorado transfer lighting up his old team.
us. He had a couple of touchdowns, well over 150 yards. He had over 100 yards last week. Now lighting it up again here today. They have got a real threat on the outside in number two. Dow 41 to 14. Shadour Sanders near side. Ball caught. Omarion Miller turns it up. Miller with a burst. Can he get there? Omarion Miller down. Deep inside SC territory at the 10 yard line. First catch of his career. First down and goal at the 10. Here's a handoff. Hankerson. Second and goal at the eight yard line. Hankerson. Flag on the play. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Here it is. Half to the goal. Automatic. Face down. First down and goal at the two. Sanders lost the fade in the corner. Incomplete. Hankerson looking. Dives. You've got a couple of defensive linemen in there, J.J. Hawkins, Bishop Thomas, and they're leading the way, but it was a great cutback. And, Joe, what kind of formation was the offensive line in? They were in an overload, so they had an unbalanced set, more offensive linemen over to that right side, and they run the toss to that side. Then Hankerson cut back and found the goal line. The extra point, good. Who wants this thing is what he would say. And now you've got guys out there. Cormani makes a play. You've got Omarion Miller that makes a play. You've got some youngsters in there. That's what this coaching staff is doing here. Williams, another sidearm throw. Near side ties. Washington wrapped up. Second and six from the 29. Williams in trouble. Williams running. Lost it up the sideline. Incomplete. Out of bounds. Third down and six and 29. Can Colorado get off again? Here's Caleb Williams. Rolling out of the pocket. Williams, not a lot of room. Knocked down. Picked off. Flag on the play. Pass interference. Defense. Number 29. 15 yard penalty. Automatic. First down. First down and 10 at the 44. Caleb Williams just dumps it down this time, and it's Taj Washington, and he'll pick up a first down. Williams over the middle, incomplete. As Caleb changed the play, they'll change the defense as well. Williams, double pumps over the middle, soft spot. Brendan Rice again, and he was down. Williams. Gives it to him straight ahead, and he's gobbled up. Trojans go empty backfield. Caleb Williams to the sideline. First down and more. Kyron Hudson. First down and goal. Handoff straight ahead. Second down and goal at the three. Lloyd back in. Play fake. They dump it off in the end zone. Touchdown. Jude Wolf. Watch as he reverses out and see how he extends the ball. Beautiful ball handling. And then that gets the linebacker to commit to the quarterback. And then Jude Wolf, who did a good job of immediately stymieing the rush. Then he slides out into the flat, and it's an easy touchdown. Extra point up and good for Dennis Lynch. One's the best player in college football. Number one overall pick. I don't think there's any question. Everybody else has had a hole in that wheel somewhere. First down and 10 at the 25, second and six at the 29. And they'll run it with Edwards, and he'll pick up the first down. They throw it out far side, incomplete Shadur Sanders for the University of Southern California program in general. Here's Sanders, throws a deep ball. And caught at the 15. There's two fouls on the play, both by the defense. Defense, that penalty is declined. Pass interference, defense, number 14. That penalty is declined. The results of the play, first down. On second down, Shadur Sanders finds Harrison. Touchdown, Colorado. 21 yards. 
Oh, first and ten. Excuse me. Delay a game. Offense, number two. Five-yard penalty. Retreat the try. Sanders lobs it in the end zone. Did he get a foot down? We'll see. Yes, he did. They convert. This is a guy that has come in and now, what, four touchdowns on the year and had a big two-point conversion against Colorado State as well. This would... They've got to be able to play requisite defense for as good of an offense as they have to go win a national championship. Here's Williams under pressure. Buys time, gets a block down the field. Intercepted at the 40. Cameron Silman Craig. Run outside of the pocket. Here's Williams on the wheel route. He's wide open. Caleb Williams tries to find him and just doesn't have enough on that ball. And it's a beautiful play on it by Cameron Silman Craig. And that will determine who's on the field for the rest of the season. They'll fire it out wide. That's Harrison. Second and six. Shadour Sanders with the give. And it's Hankerson up the gut for first down. And remember, we're at elevation. And now, all of a sudden, in the second half, they've been on the field quite a bit. Defended a lot of snaps. We're winding down here. It's probably the end of the quarter. But right now... a little trickery here at some point you know they get the first down here they got the momentum your quarterback feels probably invincible out there sounds like you know something partner as they run it no to the sideline throw incomplete second down and ten Shadour drops it off Harrison again starting to really make some big plays so the game plan in the last few series has been much better third and three here's the reverse it's hard. Cuts it inside and down inside the SC 15. Gain of 17. Sanders bottled up. And he will be tackled for a loss. Does not get back to the line of scrimmage. Sanders hands it off. Hankerson cuts it up. Sanders. Crosses the line of scrimmage, not a lot. The wide receiver on the far side, he's cutting, he's going to try to come like this potentially, but you've got to be aware of the tight end slipping back across the field. Fourth down and five. 
Sanders sprints out of the pocket. Looking. Touchdown, Amaria Miller. Wow. This kid's electric. It's a broken play. Sanders scrambles out of the pocket. And here's Miller running the back end line. And watch, he's going down. He slid down and just flashes those hands late as the ball's going to the ground. Mata for the extra point. And it's good. Omarion Miller. Three catches. commitment to Nebraska decommitted last December and signed with the Buffalo first down and 10 of the 25 here's the handoff no make that Caleb Williams Caleb Williams underneath caught but a quick tackle Williams in trouble Williams delivers and it complete up the sideline. Great pressure. Crowd really getting into it in the timeout call by Southern California. Can they get off the field? Caleb Williams under pressure. Williams to the sideline. Incomplete. Incomplete. Going against Taj Washington. Great tight coverage, excellent battle there, and they get the incompletion. Trojans punt it away. Horn deep, lets it go over his head and end of the end zone for a touchback. Down 48 to 34. On first down, nothing. That USC defense, terrific. Benton. Shadur Sanders, sideline throw, caught. Amari Miller with a burst. Oh! Broke that one. First down and 10 at the 48. Here's his son, Shadur. Dancing around. And he'll get rid of it. That's what Shadur has not been doing this year. Just getting rid of that football and not taking the sack. Here's Sanders. Guns it. Caught. Oh, incomplete. And they'll run it. Shadur Sanders sprints out. Sanders looks back side and he'll take the sack. Questionable play call in my opinion as Lloyd runs it for two. Williams dumps it down. He's got Jones with running room. First down and more. Austin Jones 
stood up, won't go down. Caleb Williams hands it to Jones, trying to get outside, cannot turn the corner. Second down and nine of the 17. Caleb Williams over the middle, incomplete. And a timeout called by the Trojans. Williams looking. Williams under pressure, and he's sacked. And he missed it. Whoa. Now Shadur Sanders has to lead his team down the field. They've got to get touchdowns on the handoff. Edwards, second down and 12 of the 20. Sanders in the pocket, steps up, looking for room, and he dives forward. Here's the freshman from Louisiana. Sanders caught. Omarion Miller first down. First down at the 41. Sanders off his back foot to the sideline, and out of bounds goes Jimmy Horn Jr. Dylan Edwards in the backfield with Sanders. They give it to him. Tries to break it back. Empty backfield for Shadur Sanders. Sanders over to the sideline. He's got Miller. Miller still running and finally steps out of bounds. First and 10 at the 36. And here's another run. Yeah, this is, this is taking way too much time. Sanders, another run. Pop a run in the middle, I just it's taking a lot of time. Here's Sanders, dancing around, breaks a tackle, lets it go. Sideline, Miller, did he get a foot inbound? Yes, he did. Oh, my goodness. False start. Offense, number 65, five-yard penalty, first down. Jimmy Horn, Xavier Weaver, terrific receivers. Here's Sanders. Jimmy Hart! Extra point up and good. And as soon as the safety Bullock was wider than he wanted to be, Shador Sanders knows he's got the seam route. Horn gets over the linebacker, and it's a touchdown for Colorado. Four touchdown passes for Shador Sanders. Personal foul, defense, leverage. That will be enforced on the kickoff. Jace Feely will handle the onside kick. And an easy cover-up for USC at the 40-yard line. I was questioning what Colorado was doing offensively is that they were playing the game to basically have a low percentage onside kick where that's the game. 30 of 40, 403 yards passing, six touchdown passes, an interception. And the Heisman Trophy winner and the Heisman Trophy front runner did not disappoint. 5 0 start for the second consecutive season for Southern Women's Volleyball on the Pac-12 Network brings us to Los Angeles. Conference play rolling right along. And, and tonight inside Paulette Hall Pavilion, Colorado is in since UCLA. And have two teams looking to prove their medal early on in Pac-12 play. Other folks, Nick Hope on hand. UCLA trying to avoid an 0-3 start in conference for the second consecutive year, while the Buffs aim to make it three straight against the Bruins. Taking a look at some of the top pin hitters for each side, CU will often funnel the attack to Lexi Hadrich. The Buffs' top offensive threat ranks eighth in the conference with nearly three and a half kills per set. She racked up a career best, 22 of them against Denver a couple weeks ago, and it's a homecoming for her tonight. SoCal native grew up in Murrieta and spent her first three seasons with UCLA. 
As for the Bruins, Iman Njai is having a career year as a senior. She's developed an all-around game with great defense at the net and in the back row. Top 10 in the pack in total kills and points, and she has two double-doubles over the last three matches, including 16 kills and 12 digs last week against rival USC. Plenty of firepower to go around tonight in Westwood. Glad to have you with us on the Pac-12 Network. First serve between the Buffs and the Bruins is next. UCLA playing just its third home game of the season tonight, and Colorado a perfect 3-0 on the road so far. Welcome you inside Pauley Pavilion. Alfie Raft back on the bench for UCLA, the head coach for the Bruins. He's been missing some time, missed seven matches already this season because he's an assistant coach with the U.S. national team, but on Sunday, the U.S. punched their ticket into the Olympics next year in Paris. On the other side for Colorado, Jesse Mahoney in his eighth season at the helm for the Buffaloes, taking them to the NCAA tournament three times in his tenure. Program got its first 20 win season since 2017 last year, already out to a nine and four mark this year. Tonight's match features two of the top hockey teams in the conference, so keep an eye on the middles for each side. There are four players in the conference averaging better than two kills and a block per set. we got two of them tonight in Sky Howard for Colorado and a Donson for UCLA. Also for the Bruins, keep an eye on Desiree Becker, the grad transfer from Northwestern, has been perhaps the biggest impact transfer in the conference. And Maya Tabron for CU on the outside has been a standout in conference play. Already four double-doubles this season for Tabron. Bruins will be on serve to start the match. Ashley Mullen, the freshman setter, is on serve. Bruins lead the all-time series. Buffs won them both last year, though, for the first time ever. Swing from Grace Olsen into the net, and Colorado takes the first point. Alexia Cool supplying the defense there. Avery Bulls subbing in. A freshman, you'll see her in the back row. Down the line for Olsen. And the set across the way for Njai gets an early kill. Put it right at Maya Tabron in the back row. Njai, the top offensive threat for the Bruins. It started with a kill. Long set there for Ashley Mullen to get it outside for Njai. Down the middle, Sky Howard elevated ball. Olsen was there on the back lot, back row there to play it. And Colorado takes the point to go up 2-1. That's a serve, number 12, Taylor Simpson. 
There's Colorado setter Taylor Simpson on serve. She's a SoCal native out of Calabasas. Went to Sierra Canyon High School, was an All-American there. Leverett down the line. Sheridan Leverett out of Hampton, Georgia. She made the initial pass. And then set up well down the line. Leverett has taken on a much larger role this season as a sophomore, third on the team in kills. Peyton Duick, the libero. And the back set for Hadrich into the block. And misplayed, point to the Bruins. Hadrich swinging at a couple of her former teammates there, including Anna Dodson and Leverett. Free ball here for Colorado, but wide open space in the middle. Morgan Riddle can't get there. UCLA bailed out a bit there. As Leverett just had to put it into the middle of the court. And a gaping hole, UCLA inching in front four to two. Free ball for UCLA. Mullen sets up Leverett, just shoves it over. Dug out over there by Simpson, setters out. And a block for the Bruins on Lily Dwinell. Iman Enjai there along with Anna Dodson for the block. Dwinell was off the net there on that swing. And a simple block there for the Bruins. And that's an ace for the libero, Peyton Duick. UCLA now on a 5-0 scoring run, all on the serve of Peyton Duick, and a timeout called by Colorado. Early lead for UCLA in set one. Bruins out to an early 6-2 lead here on the first set, a 5-0 scoring run. Peyton Duick remains on serve. Dwinell over the block. Setters out here as the cross-court swing from Enjai is a bit wide. And Colorado able to get the side out and get back on serve. Emma Thorstenson. Subbing in, and is now on serve. 
Redshirt sophomore, key backline sub for CU. And she finds the corner for the ace. Her eighth service ace of the season. Went right at Leverett. Turned the shoulder there at the last moment. And that one's squarely in. Back to that same corner, but this one floats long. And back it goes to UCLA. Colorado splitting their first two conference games last week, beat Utah in four sets, then were swept by number four Stanford on Sunday. Bruins fell in five to USC, and then were swept by number six Oregon. Duick with the dig, Donson sets up Leverett and missed it wide. Sharp angle there after good effort from Duick. Alexia Cool subbing into the front row here for Colorado. And Morgan Riddle on serve. Again, they go to the far corner. Back set for Dodson. The middle on the run through the block for the kill. Anna Dodson, one of the best middles in the Pac-12. Two-time all-conference pick in her red shirt senior year. And a Colorado native out of Fort Collins. Leverett floats into the back row. Riddle on the dig. Tabron on the swing. The dig for Leverett. Set out for Olsen. Off the top of the block for the kill. Just off the fingertips there for Grace Olsen. Sophomore has taken a jump this season after she was named to the Pac-12 All-Freshman squad last year. Into the body there of Tabron. Dwynell blocked back. Tabron again. And the diving effort there from Leverett. Olsen puts it into the net. Tough spot there for Olsen. Leaning backwards. Three-point UCLA lead here in the early going. Anna Borilovic on serve, native of Split, Croatia. And just missed the back line. A couple of service errors for Colorado. Buffalo's had a five game winning streak going at the end of August. All of them were sweeps. First time they won 15 straight sets since 1997. During that 97 year, they had 10 straight sweeps. And a Donson serve. Riddle, not a great pass. Tabron into the tables there. Free ball now for UCLA. As Mullen goes across for Olsen. And it's long, no touch. Bruins call it for one, they don't get it. And so Colorado scrambling there a little bit off the Aaron pass, but they get the point. Something both coaches are looking to see out of their squads here tonight. Better receiving and better passing overall. Mullen back and a block. Hadrich denies Desiree Becker a solo self for the former UCLA player. Becker, the Northwestern transfer on the run, and Hadrich right there. Colorado back within two. Back set, Njai. Overpass. Olsen just has to tip it over. Olsen, the kill. Couple of kills for Grace Olson. It's Leverett in the back row who got the set for her. And she picked out the empty spot there on the sharp angle. 
Now the setter Mullen on serve. Adrich, and that was an over set there, put away by Enjai. Decker there as well. Bruins take advantage, go back up by four. Matching their largest lead of this first set. Right into the body of Tabron off the serve. Hadrich, good swing after she had to set herself backwards there a little bit. Set was a little bit behind of where she was anticipating, but made the adjustment, gets the kill. Hadrich at three and a half kills per set on the season. Avery Bowles putting that serve in. Olsen. Well, we've settled in here. Bruins had that early 5-0 run to grab a four-point lead, and we've been oscillating pretty much between a four- and three-point difference since. Grace Olsen leading UCLA with three kills, and her serve climbs over the taint. They're on the back row after the swing from Hadrich. And Olsen puts it into the net, trying to leap forward from that back row. Well, Olsen been very active early. She heads off. Kat Lutz, the freshman from Del Mar, comes on into the back row. Back to Taylor Simpson serve. Enjai has it blocked back. Becker just has to shove it over. Hadrich blocks. Becker sliding over with Enjai. Desiree Becker leads UCLA. Block and a quarter on average per set. Now here's Duick. Bruins had a 5-0 run on her serve the first time, but this one into the net. And UCLA with their first service error tonight. Duick taking over as a libero this season for the Bruins. Torstensen now for the Buffs. Loading out of play. Bit of a discussion here between Jesse Mahoney and now the officials will come together. Taylor Simpson came over for Colorado to plead her case. Troy Gravett is the referee on the stairs. Derwin Jordan coming over. Call a jump ball there. It's going to be a reserve here for Torstensen. Oh, remove the point there for UCLA. It's 14-11 Bruins. We're clear to get back to action. Back set, Enjai blocked back. Tabron fired up, had some help from Sky Howard the middle there as well. These are two of the best blocking teams in the conference. Colorado third in blocks per set, UCLA fourth. Errant pass, but the Bruins will get themselves out of trouble. Free ball now for Colorado. Tabron with the tip. Setters out here. Mullen had to make that first touch. And now it's Leverett finding 
the back line. Olsen and Leverett have been leading the way for UCLA's offense, each with three kills. Leverett able to go around the block. Enjai's serve, pass by Tabron. And now Dwynell swing. This one right at the net, Dodson with a big swipe. Colorado was into the net anyway, point to the Bruins. Right across from the net from each other, you got Sky Howard and Anna Dodson. They're two of the four in the conference, averaging two kills a set and a block per set. Tabron got the touch off the top of the block. Hi, Tabron, just a great all around player for Colorado and having a great senior year. Nearly three kills per set. About two and a half digs per set as well. Has played ball there from Lutz. An easy point there for Colorado, who's back within two. Bruins will make a sub here. Olsen back in for Lutz. Olsen the dig, and the set for Leverett, and the block is in. Leverett had a chance to play. I thought it might have gone out. And Dwynell and Cool right there. And now UCLA wants to take a timeout here as we take another look. And Dwynell getting her right hand on it, catching the sideline. And Colorado has made it a one-point game here in the first set. A little step aside, a tight one as we expected between UCLA and Colorado. And UCLA getting some good contribution so far from their sophomore outside hitter Sheridan Leverett. She's taking on a much larger role this year. And she's been active early. Went down the line there, able to split the block. And then off a set from the Libero Duick, able to locate an empty spot in the middle of the floor. And another set from Duick, this time a big swing, picks out the back line. Leverett at one point this year had a run of 10 or more kills in six of seven matches. Been a little quiet lately. And she's been a big part of the offense so far. Trying to run down a ball here off an errant pass from Olsen. And Colorado has now tied it up. 16 all after UCLA had multiple four point leads. Now both coaches preaching that they need to do better with their passing. And we've seen some errors here so far. Big swing from Enjai. 
Second kill for Njai, the senior out of Dallas. Njai, top 10 in the conference in total kills and points. A near overpass and cool just trying to tip it back over and she got a piece of the block there. A scramble play. And quick reflexes there from the 6-7, Alexia Cool. Here's Burlovich off the tape and brought up there by Donson. Now Olsen. Back and forth we go here as we get later in this first set. Long set there for Ashley Mullen. Four kills already for Olsen. Donson with that float serve. Tabron right through the block. Great swing there from Maya Tabron. Entering tonight, hitting at a career best 260 clip. Her dig numbers are up. Kills are a little bit down, but so are the errors. And now Tabron on serve. Do accept for Olsen and pinballs its way just inside the line. Cool there again. Very nice start. She set a career high last year against UCLA, had 10 blocks, and very active here early on. Colorado in front, but only momentarily. Their third service error of this first set gives it back to the Bruins, tied up at 19. And that lead there for Colorado, that was their First one since the early moments of this set when they had a 2-1 lead. Hadrich tips it just inside the antenna. Olsen just has to drop it in. Free ball now for Colorado. The back set and stuff. Olsen right in there against Cool. And now the Bruins inch back in front. Cool on the roll. Trying to go for that angle, but Olsen was in perfect position. Keeps Mullen on serve. And Bruins have had a two-setter rotation for the better part of a month now, but it's been exclusively Mullen in this first set. Hadrich had it blocked back, and Becker finds the sideline. We got timeout called by Colorado as UCLA leads by two here late in the first set. Here's the two set system we're talking about. Mullen, for the last several weeks, she's been the setter in the back row. Audrey Pack has been the setter in the front row. And Pack. Gives UCLA more of a blocking element and is very impactful there. And so they've been utilizing that 5-2 system uh, since they had that trip to Hawaii. But so far tonight, it's been all Mullen. We'll see if the Bruins mix it up here and if we get Audrey Pack in the match at some point. The UCLA was largely in control throughout this first set. Multiple four-point leads, but Colorado hung around, got some passing errors from UCLA. Took a lead momentarily. Now the Bruins hoping that they can make another run here late in the set as UCLA is trying to get its first win in conference play. Lost to USC, a tight five-setter last Wednesday here at Pauley Pavilion. And then they were not close against Oregon on Sunday. Bruins only had 44 points in that one as they were swept by the Ducks. Second fewest points that UCLA has had in the rally scoring era going back to 2001. 
And so they're looking to put that behind them, get back on the winning side of things here and avoid an 0-3 start in conference for the second consecutive year. They've got their head coach back, Alfie Reft. This is Reft's first time coaching in Pauley Pavilion. The Bruins spending the bulk of the first month of the season playing away from home. They went to LSU, went to Hawaii, went to Oklahoma, where they finally got a home game with that match against USC last week. Hadrich on the swing. And a great kill for Lexi Hadrich. Much needed there for Colorado. Colorado's had some runs in this spot of the rotation when they got Hadrich going there on the left side. And Jai just had to try and roll it over, but missed it long. Neither team hitting all that well. Bruins now hitting below 100. So is Colorado. It's now 11 attack errors for UCLA. Quick set up there for Engine. Tabron digs it out. Hadrich with the kill. And a 3 0 run here for Colorado. Buffs have the lead. Three points from the set. Fourth kill for the former UCLA Bruin, Lexi Hadrich, prompts a UCLA timeout. Now we will step aside. Colorado trying to get that first set clinched on the road. 